ready to get back to work. Tonight's date night, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to build a bonfire on the beach. Fun! It's kind of, kind of a perfect day. Thank you, Lord. Hi, friends. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Maybe not for you, but for me. Hi, hello, how are ya? Um, I'm back. This is my first time filming in over two weeks and that is the longest I've ever gone with not filming since I started my YouTube channel at like 18 years old. You wouldn't know it because a lot of those old videos are archived, but I've missed y'all. I feel like I have so much to catch you up on. I um, am filming this on a Tuesday. Yesterday was my first day back at work and I spent the whole day cleaning out like two weeks worth of emails and you know, just getting all the computer stuff in order. And today is my first filming day back. And quick little thing I'd like to point out, um, I'm actually quite lit right now, which is great. I have a light up mirror and this little, this little light going because we don't have power today. Um, they are finally finishing our electrical panel today. They are disconnecting the old one and reconnecting the new one and it takes all day. So there's an electrician here, there's SDG&E here, which is like our gas and electric company, I guess. And they are finishing up the work, which that'll be a huge thing to check off our list. It was supposed to be done by December. <laughs> so much to catch you guys up on. I have things to show you things to unbox. I brought things home from the honeymoon that I want to hang in the house. I just kind of figured I'd start off this vlog getting ready and kind of catching you up on the wedding and the honeymoon. So by now you should have seen the wedding morning vlog and then the little teaser video by our professional videographers. They are going to do a full length video as well, like 20, 30 minutes, but that can take, I think 10 to 15 weeks. So whenever I get that, if it's not weird, if it's not like so far in the future, then I plan to post that as well. And then we also had, it was gifted to us a super eight film shot completely on super eight. And I might release that as a bonus video. It's probably not out by now let me know your thoughts i don't want to like overdo the actual wedding day footage for y'all if you're like okay that's annoying but i did not vlog any of the honeymoon i posted a little photo dump afterward i was offline didn't really share much of what i was doing in case you missed it we did go to maine for a week i clearly got to pick where we went um so we did a week of ready for some play on words honey maine and then a week of homey moon <laughs> So a week in Maine, a week at home. I planned the week in Maine. Jordy planned the week at home. Kind of like surprised each other with the plans. Flew into Boston, spent four nights in Kinnebunkport at this inn that I had always wanted to go to. It's called White Barn Inn. So we basically did nothing for four days except for hang out in our little cabin, eat good food. We did go dog sledding and we did have like this spa experience that was really great at the inn. And then I got the flu. It started with my stomach, which if you guys know, I am deathly afraid of getting sick, like throwing up. Um, there's a word for it. I think it's edemophobia, emetophobia, but I did get sick and that was very <laughs> scary for me. Um, and it was like 102 degree fever for a couple days. Honestly, besides getting sick, the worst part was the body aches. I'd never had that intense of like muscle aches before in my life, but Jordi was very sweet, took great care of me. Um, and it happened on the day that we were leaving Kinnebunkport and going up to Portland. So for two days in Portland, I was just, I was just, out of commission, could not eat, could not think about food. Literally, Jordy would have to go eat food in the lobby because if I smelled food, I would get sick. But after 48 hours, I felt fine again. And so thankfully, we were able to keep back on our schedule and fly home when we were supposed to fly home. And that was really great as well. Um, ate so much lobster. We did this one meal where all six courses were lobster, literally dessert had lobster on it, which is sounds disgusting, but was delicious. And then the homey moon was awesome. We took the train down to San Diego. We like tried some spots downtown that like we wouldn't normally go to because when you live in Oceanside, downtown feels so far. I mean, it's like 45 minutes without traffic. So you don't really go unless it's like a special occasion. So we went down to downtown a couple times. So yeah, I feel very refreshed after a couple weeks off. I'm feeling really good. I'm gonna finish getting ready and we will venture downstairs where probably the lighting is a little bit better. And we got packages to open. I have art I wanna hang. I have things I wanna show you. So I'm gonna get quickly ready and let's continue on. <laughs>
sun starting to come out, which is great for us in terms of, um, I don't know, being able to see in here with no lights. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Also, if you hear construction noises, sorry. The, it's just the electrician here right now, but we have other construction happening too that um, started during our honeymoon. I think I'm gonna show you the progress of that in the next vlog because um, we're doing some exciting stuff actually. But I got this sweatshirt at a very cheesy little tourist store in Portland and I love it so much. It has a lighthouse. <gasps> Speaking of, I asked me to tell you in a second, but clearly we have to give a thank you. I got that sickness that affected my stomach and I was so thankful that I had my probiotics with me. I think that helped me get over it quicker and get my stomach back on track quicker. Today's video is sponsored by Seed. I have the privilege of working with Seed a couple times a month and I have for a couple of years now because I've been a fan four years of their probiotics. I have a code for y'all. If you've been on the market for a really good probiotic, if you're making the investment, at least save some money. I can save you 25% off your first month with code Mikkel25. I will have the link down below. But when I was on the market for good probiotic, because GI health is something I've cared about my whole life as someone with celiac disease, I did a ton of research and seeds science by far blew me away out of any of the competitors on the market. They are probiotic and a prebiotic. So there's an outer capsule of prebiotics that protects the living capsule of probiotics on the inside so that they survive, they deliver, they actually do their job. I think so many people don't realize they're spending money on probiotics that die before they even reach their colon. So like, what's the point? What's the point in buying them and taking them if they're going to not live and do their job? And I get messages probably three, four, five times a day of people sending me their seed testimonies, which is really cool. I'm like, this has become my whole personality and I'm totally okay with it. Thank you Seed for sponsoring this video. Thank you for having such a potent 24 strain probiotic, prebiotic, daily symbiotic on the market. You help me feel good and hopefully I can help you guys feel good as well. So I have my little travel one because I'm waiting on my refill for my main guy. Um, I get refills every month in this little biodegradable package. So this is all I have left until my refill gets in, which you know should last me a little over a week. So I'm good. but. I'm gonna take this and then, ah, okay, wait, I have something really exciting I wanna tell you. One more little wedding thing. I know it's been so much wedding content and we're getting back to normal life, don't you worry. But I received the greatest gift, which was simply a piece of information. So we got married at our church. Our church has a cute little chapel right by the water, like two blocks up from the water now. And our pastors came and we were talking with them afterward and they go, hey, Mikkel, we heard you really love lighthouses. Is that true? And I was like, yes. I love lighthouses, sailboats, like I become fixated on something and right now it's definitely lighthouses and sailboats. And they're like, did you know this chapel was a lighthouse? And I was like, what? And they said, yeah, like it's super old, it's historic. So back in the day, this was the closest to the water. There wasn't the other two blocks and the steeple was used as a lighthouse for sailors. And I was like, did, did you just tell me that I just got married in a lighthouse? <laughs> Speaking of Maine, I got a couple things. Um, there was this cute little boutique. I got these little beads for this little bowl here. I thought it would be a fun little keepsake to have out. But the thing I got at the boutique that I'm most excited for is a tiny little piece of art for the gallery wall upstairs. I need to rehang a couple of pictures that got knocked off when we used upstairs as like the little makeup vanity. But I've been on the hunt for a tiny, tiny little photo for the top right corner um, to like fill out the rest of the wall. I'll show you what I found and um, maybe we can hang it together right now and see her. She's so cute. Look at even how cute their wrapping paper is from this little boutique. Look at how cute. There's shells, wine bottles, there's olive leaves. Anyways, I hope she survived the journey. Look at her. Isn't she cute? And the back is signed. I'm gonna show you where I want to hang her and we can do it together. I need to, like I said, rehang a couple things as well. I hope the lighting is okay in there. It's pretty dark. We'll see. This picture from Anna fell that I need to rehang here. And then to like create the like kind of step up that I wanted, I wanted to find one small piece of art for this corner. And I feel like she'd be perfect over here, don't you think? So let's try it. Woohoo! How do we think? She's so cute. Is she a little small? Do I need to find two little circles up there? 
Here, let me show you. See, so I wanted it to like kind of go from bottom left to top right, kind of like that. So I wanted something up there, but is she a little small? Should I find her a matching and do like a one, two? I first got this little duck that I was gonna frame, but, oops, look at that lamp. <laughs> But this was too big. If this was like a vertical thing, it would have been a good size. So I actually think it's nice to kind of have an oval something also. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Also, while I have you, I wanna show you a couple mysteries. A couple things are just so weird and I have been dying to ask y'all cause someone might know what happened here. This is so weird. I don't think this happened when we were gone. I think this happened when we got back because I think I would have noticed it went to bed, woke up the next morning and saw this on our wall. These two things, which there's like a screw that has just completely burst through the drywall. And this one is also about to burst through the drywall. And I can't figure out why that just happened overnight. Like it's pretty noticeable from afar. Like just this random bulge. First I was like, oh weird, is that like water damage? But then I noticed the second one just completely exposed. All the construction that's happening is happening on this side of the house. So first I was like, maybe they're like shook the foundation so much that like, I don't know, the studs vibrated and I don't know, but I don't think that that's possible because it's not even like a shared wall with the construction. So does anybody know? I also don't know how to fix this because I lime wash this wall. So I can't just like patch it and paint it and get the same texture because this was like three coats of a very specific lime wash that I'd have to rebuy. So I might just leave it. I might just like try to eventually push this back into place a little bit more, but I can't for the life of me figure out what caused that to happen. The other thing is this tree in here. I was convinced it was dying because all the leaves just kept falling off and like there's literally no leaves left. And I was like, wow, this tree just hates being here, I guess, but then all of a sudden, all these tiny baby leaves, can you see these? Sorry, I know it's in direct sun right now. All these tiny baby leaves just started popping up. So I think it's just the type of tree that just loses all of its leaves in winter. I know it sounds like I'm saying FS. I'm saying VES, okay, leaves, leaves, I'm saying it. Does anybody know what type of tree this is? And if I'm caring for it correctly, because at first I thought I was a really bad plant mom, but now that all of these are coming back up, I'm like, okay, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's just what this tree does. Cause this tree was a bit of a splurge and look at it right now. <laughs> looks so sad. I went ahead and put on some real clothes because I need to go place a cake order. Actually not this weekend, but the next weekend I'm hosting a baby shower here and I'm so excited. I will be vlogging the whole setup because the aesthetic that she requested is just immaculate. It's gonna be so much fun. Every like super girly, um, like kind of tea party vibes, pedophores, bows on everything. I told her I had did a flower bar for Kaylisa's baby shower. And she was like, oh my gosh, that'd be so fun. So we're gonna do another flower, build your own bouquet bar. Her favorite cake is a carrot cake. So I'm gonna go see if I can place a cake order. And then maybe we can run a couple other errands. I could stand to get my car washed. Maybe we can go some more fun. Maybe we can either check out the estate sale warehouse or get a coffee or something. So this is the vibe. Here's the cake. I'm gonna see if they can decorate it like this. If not, I'm gonna say just white with the bottom and I'll try to do my own bow. But um, these are the vibes. Aren't they so fun? I'm also, I dropped off vintage fabric at the local seamstress to have her cut it, like sew it into one long strip to do a huge bow. I got little scalloped napkins. It's gonna just be very cute. I got cookies that are being made. I ordered pedophores that are in the freezer currently. Um, I'm gonna pick up little Chick-fil-A nuggets and get mini frozen waffles. It's gonna be a cute little thing. So I pulled these tulips over here for a thumbnail picture. <laughs> gonna go put them back. Uh, wait a minute. I was just about to leave and I noticed the light flashing on the oven. <gasps> we weren't supposed to have power all day. Is this for real? Is it gonna stay like this? Oh my gosh, incredible. Cake order, place. The guy was so cute. He's a baker, probably my age. And I was like, yeah, an eight inch round carrot cake. And he's like, all right. And then what are you thinking in terms of frosting? And I was like, I actually have an inspo pick. I showed it to him and he goes, oh. Wow, that's cute. I love him. I love him very much, I think. Um, I was looking through the list of other things for the baby shower. 
I pretty much have everything except for possibly um, like antique pitchers for like water and lemonade um, and maybe if there's any like super girly glassware so I think we just swing by the estate sale warehouse we just see if there's anything new um, we haven't gone in weeks because I've been gone so I think we're overdue for that and then we'll head home I should get my car washed I just I have a membership I have a membership that I pay for for unlimited car washes maybe I'll just drive through <laughs> I do not need more mirrors because mom got me one for Christmas that's coming any day now. But look at how beautiful and that would be so beautiful in like a vintagey bathroom above a like pedestal sink. <sighs> Tell me now. I don't need it. I don't need it. Right? Yeah. I don't. Guys, I've been looking for something like this for the bathroom for forever. Look at the frosted glass. And I just finally took the L and ordered something new online. It's 375 Oh, it's a great size. Imagine different knobs. Shoot. Does it open though? Okay. That would have been so perfect. I just gave up after months of looking. Ugh. This is quite possibly the most stocked I've ever seen it here. Look at this antique curved front cabinet. Look at the like floral, can you see? Pattern on the back. I love this. I don't have a use for it. Somebody please come get this. This is a dream. Like if you have a cool bar set up. <gasps> Can you imagine? Look at this vintage green miner lunchbox for $12. It all stacks together like that. That's so cool. This lamp is wild, but I kind of love it. <laughs> Not for my home, but for somewhere it's really cool. I found some sound panels. So I gave a ring to a local musician that I know and wanted to see if he wanted to check them. Oh, there he is. Or do you work for a construction company? Mr. Vosak. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Cow. Well, it wasn't a success for me necessarily, but Jordy did just buy so many sound panels for like a quarter of the cost of what it would have cost him. And he was starting the process of getting sound panels made for his studio. And now he just saved like 75% on them. So that is awesome. And do you want to know how much of a small town Oceanside is? The friend that I was here for her baby shower looking for her picture, she, I just ran into her here. I love it. Okay, back home. I don't think I'm gonna get my car washed. I'm feeling lazy and rebellious. It's fun kind of like easing into the new rhythm of life, I guess, even though it's really not that different since before the wedding, but we did like a double date two nights ago. Last night, Jordy had a guy's night. I requested a night to myself to listen to podcasts and organize, and it was glorious, and I took an everything shower, and it was so good. Tonight's date night, and what we're going to do is we're going to go try to build a bonfire on the beach, and so he's going to go get firewood, and um, we're going to do like little sunset beach date and build a bonfire hopefully oceanside harbor which is a beach we don't go to super often because it's like the north side of oceanside um they have free bonfire pits and since it's on the harbor there's also so many boats and it's like pretty magical really great spot for dolphin sightings there's a ton of dolphins over there because it's like protected water so that's that's the plan for tonight i'm gonna go home and i think our power is fully back because when i was leaving the guy was like are things starting to turn on and i was like yeah and he's like i'm about halfway there i was like wow awesome so i think we got our power back and our new panel up and running and what a good day sun's out it's like 68 degrees it's kind of kind of a perfect day thank you lord i have some pr that i've been saving to open with y'all i have a couple other things as well so I thought we could do a little mail time because it's been a long time. These have just been sitting here from when we were out of town. One other thing I want to show you is one of our friends did the sweetest thing, brought her own Polaroid camera to the wedding and took photos for us because somebody did it for her wedding and it ended up being some of her favorite photos and then gifted it to us. And I found this frame on Amazon to put a few of my favorites into. So there's like us with the pizza, me, Jordi and one of the pals us with the pizza again and I think it's the cutest idea so then I got Polaroid film for my cousin's wedding that I'm in in a few weeks and also a book that like has it's like a it's like a photo album but Polaroid size and I'm gonna take like 50 pictures throughout the weekend and then gift her the book afterward so I was very inspired by my friend who did this I thought it was so sweet and let's open some things first PR is my favorite it's Cezanne is on let me pick out a couple things for their new spring collection which is so sweet <gasps> oh 
Oh my gosh, I love this. It's a cardigan with like buttons down the front. Should I just try it on real quick? I'm gonna try it on. I was realizing I wanted more form-fitting things in my wardrobe because I have a lot of just like big sweaters, but for like nights out and stuff, it's fun to have something a little more form-fitting. This is so cute. I probably wouldn't wear it with this tank underneath. Maybe something cropped so that you can see a little skin through it. So freaking cute. And then I am just a sucker for a crisp white button down. I really, really liked the um, sleeves on this one. How they like a super thick hem. So I got a little white button down. It's always fun. I feel like to wear it open with a little tank and like layer some necklaces and some wide leg jeans and maybe little heels or something. And then this is what I'm so excited for. I have the will jacket in denim and then like this green floral pattern. And I saw that they came out with the will jacket in suede. Doherty has the will jacket as well. They make it for their, their men's line. Oh my gosh, you know what's so funny? Jordy got an offer to play as the musician for this um, like ambassador pop-up event for a brand and he clicked on it and it was Cezanne. And he emailed, he was like, my wife is obsessed with you. I'll literally do it for free. <laughs> I love it. I just love the line of the pockets on these. So cute. Next, I haven't looked at this yet. This is actually from one of my best friends since kindergarten. So we've been friends for 22 years now. She came out for the wedding and she just started working for this brand. So this is kind of like her wedding gift to me. She had the brand send me one of their bags. She went to school for like sustainability fashion. So she's very into like more sustainable ways. And this is their new brand. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. <gasps> Plant-based leather. 100% water resistant, more durable than genuine leather, scratch resistant, stain resistant. So cool. Go Maddie. She's so cool. Thanks Maddie for working for a cool brand and letting me in on it. Look at how cute. That's so timeless. They have some really funky ones too that are like way more statementy, but I'm kind of a classic girl, you know what I mean? There's a lot of storage space in this as well. It's deep and there's several pockets. This is so nice. This box. I started to look in it because I thought it was just Amazon, but I think it's actually PR from Max. Oh my gosh, so cute. Cheese and bacon, pizza dog treats, apple, strawberry, and ginger dog treats, and berry sorbet, strawberry, blueberry, vanilla. We're gonna have to give these to Max and see what he thinks. And then this was something I previously opened, but I ate, started eating one of them, and it's so good, so I wanted to show y'all. Somebody gifted me this chocolate. Bring and Mulberry, I don't know if that's the name of the brand. Literally, the only ingredients in this is cacao, date, cacao butter. That is it, and it tastes so good. It's 72% cocoa. They have lavender, bee pollen, and rose petal. You can see, like, through the back. Mixed berry, mango, chili, and lime, and then, date pecan and sea salt but this is really good and the packaging is adorable so i wanted to save that to show y'all too okay i'm gonna do some work i'm gonna take off this long sleeve because it is officially warm we got wi-fi back we got power back we lost no i thought we lost the nearing we did not Here's our little setup. We got chairs, blankets, and then we have so many leftover s'mores supplies from our wedding. I brought a whole box of gluten-free graham crackers, a whole bag of marshmallows, um, a couple things of chocolate. Jordy's getting the fire supplies. And here's the harbor. So the pier is that way. All the boats are back behind this parking lot. You can't see from over here. And they all come out around this way. So it's really beautiful to watch them. But we got about an hour till the sun is fully set. So I told Jordy he should surf first and then us make the fire closer to when the sun's actually setting, when it actually gets dark so we can see it. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna hang here, watch surf, have my toes in the sand, which is my favorite thing. And just enjoy this. I can't believe it's winter. <laughs> like after being in Maine where it was literally snowing, I'm like, this is crazy that this is winter. You do get what you pay for in terms of weather here. I will give California that. Mm -hmm. 